Okay. Um, I guess I was wanting to talk about the um, field of nines and how to construct them, but I also want to talk about their whole structure too, since I found out that they have an end. Um, okay. This is this is how you build a field of nines. The the thing you do, the real trick of it all, is that you line up all the digits. You find a block of numbers. I chose 99 to 1. Um, to 1. And you line up all the 9s. 99 to 1. 99 to 9 to 81. 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 27, 18, and 9. Then you choose a line of them. You could go to a hundred, but then you'd have to put a hundred over here. And a hundred one, a hundred two, a hundred three, a hundred four, hundred five. See what I mean? Then what you do, you numerologically reduce these to a single digit. Each of these. But then just one line. Because one line's enough. <clears throat> if you reduce them, reducing them, to a single digit and multiplying that result so it's no different from um, doubling up doubling tripling quadrupling times you know um, 99 one two three multiplied by itself one two three four five six seven eight nine ten times and then that result, numerologically reduced to a single digit, gives you this. Gives you this. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the reason it has this border around it is because this is just one line. This one line here is this line here, numerologically reduced. But if you wanted to numerologically reduce this line and multiply it ten times, that would fit under here. And then if you wanted to numerologically reduce this line ten times, that would fit under here. And it would go down and go down and go down like that. And, uh, um, what you would have you would have a whole, you would have a whole field of these, these sequences that come in dual pairs, a num numer uh, a numerical sequence going down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this going up, this going up, one, two, three, four, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you have the nines going down, nines going across. You have the sequences again, but going the opposite way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you have the um, odds and evens, or the odds and evens. Nine, two, four, six, eight, one, two, one, three, five, seven, nine. Then you'd have the multiples of six through nine. Then these leaping numbers. Then you'd have the um, multiples of three, six, nine, again, going the opposite direction. The evens and odds instead of odds and evens. Just numerical sequences and the nines again. So you find a border and you cut them off, and um, for each of these, each of these lines in this whole block, you multiply it eight or ten times, and then you come up with this a block that keeps on adding down here. You can imagine these blocks adding down here. Well, what exists on this side of these nines? If you continue these. And you continue them forever. Because this continues forever down. 
and it would also continue forever going this way. Just this whole block going down is our real number system. You can imagine any blocks going this way and any blocks going that way is somewhere out of our number system. I think that's the reason I colored them blue. But they still repeat the pattern that's over here. The nines and the quarters of the nines. And what you get, and this is just the first generation, is a bunch of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one on top going across. And following those same patterns that I found right here. And um, what you have then, after those patterns, after that first initial pattern of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one on top, um, you start in the generations behind them. Um, this is the first generation. These are the nines. I stripped the borders away from them. Um, this is the second generation. And the nines pop up again, except they're in the crosshairs. And then the then it's back to this again, but it's not the entirely same pattern. It's a different pattern. This is 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 a different pattern. One showing a single block of circles. One showing a neighboring intersection of circles. One showing a block of circles. One showing a neighboring intersection. All these are different patterns. I have a form of moray pattern. A type of floating moray pattern of nines. In these generations as you're going back and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Um, these are some these floating moray patterns. You'll see that at the first generation you stand still, the second generation you stand still, and the third generation, and these are neighbors and these are individuals. And the third generation you stand still, and the first generation you stand still. But if something happened in the fifth generation, they start moving up. And, it's not, and it focuses on one flock. But then on this neighboring generation, it moves up too. You can't see the nines here. It moves up from being centered like it was. And then um, in the, this generation, it moves up more. Or it stays the same as this generation. And then I uh, have this generation, another neighboring element come together on the bottom like they're moving up. The moray pattern. How moray pattern shifts. And then the ninth generation, that pattern too moves up above the nines. And then in the tenth generation, that pattern again is centered with the nines. And it's the cube. It's the central cube. But you can imagine all the other cubes out beyond this point and all the other quilts of nine fields of nine. And that's what these are, but this is just the first generation. And I've only taken a, each one of these patterns out of here. If I can show you this. Um, you'll see the first pattern nines in the first pattern and, and these are behind each other you'll see the you'll see that maybe you see see through a bit better you see that crosswise pattern of nines and crosshair patterns of nines and in the third generation if you can see through there you'll see the fours again the four Cubic here, or group. Then, as you move backwards through here, you'll see all these patterns start to float up, float up in this field. And where's that at? Right here. And it's very difficult to see if you're not here. But, um, these are these patterns that float up in this field until you reach.
reached the final pattern, which is, well, that's the nine, ninth cycle, but the final pattern would be this again, the tenth pattern, but it's just the first pattern all over again. And I failed to put that up there, but that will have to do sometime. So that's the structure, and that's how to create these things. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot.